I am a six because I am working on research that could transform the lives of people with severe disabilities. My research has been on brain-computer interfaces, which are systems that allow people with severe disabilities to control an external device by using only their thoughts. And I wanted to work on that because the first time I heard about it, I thought this has the potential to change so many lives. Um, and that's, that's why I wanted to do it, because I wanted to have an impact on the world. BCIs have been around for 20 to 30 years, but so far they've only been developed in, in very controlled situations with, behind closed doors and with, uh, with able-bodied users, rather than the disabled people that they are supposed to help. Um, so what I wanted to do when I started working on them was to bridge this gap, to bring them out of the labs, to give other people access to them. Um, and I did this by taking part in an international competition, which had two, two main aims. One of them was to bring awareness to the general public about this type of technology and other types of technology, and to bring together the, the research community and, and the final users to see how what we do can actually impact their lives. I just finished my PhD here and I was lucky enough to get a position in, in the same school where I've been working, so I'm staying in Essex for a few years. Um, the difference is I'm, I'm moving away from brain-computer interfaces. I'm, I'm working on an international project um, that aims at restoring function and sensibility of amputees, helping them control a robotic hand by using signals from their arms. The world has changed a lot since I arrived here, um, but being in Essex and, and seeing how this multicultural uh, society can, can work, I think, I think that's given me hope that um, a better world is possible.